Drawing dispersion graphs is a real me, useful way of showing how the spread of data is uh, for different things. So I'm going to use an example of the longest axis of stone data and some river data that we've collected. Okay, so the first thing to do is to organize your data. I've got the longest axis of 20 stones for a site upstream. I've pasted the 20 longest axes for a site midstream, site 3, and the 20 stones that we collected uh, longest axis for a downstream area, so we're able to compare how stone size differs uh, for different sites along the river. The first thing to do is to number the uh, number the data. So you'd put number one for your first site right the way down. I'll copy that down. Number three for the second site there. I'll just copy that down as well. And number five for our site furthest downstream and I'll copy that down as well. Effectively what we're doing is we're turning a scatter graph into a dispersion graph. The next step is really easy. You highlight the data right the way down, all of it. It has to be one set of data on top of the other. And then you insert a scatter and there you have it. A, a nice dispersion graph, a longest axis, site one, you can see the spread of data from the smallest all the way up to the top and of course you could add on um, the interquartile range. This obviously looks better as a new sheet because you can see the dots more clearly and you can spread them out more as well by messing about with the, the axis.